sing a song called Liquor. Drugs. But he does that. Yeah. Yeah. Did he say like some like, oh, I only drink if I know something or said something like, oh, he yeah, said something he inappropriate. Said, yeah, he was like, I only like, drink if I know heads no, coming. Heads coming out. Woo! Woo! Shout out to my nigga Chris Breezy. Yo, man, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, N.O., a.k.a. N.O. How you feel? My song's worth more than a value mill if you value real. And today, man, we got another one for you, man. We got these two things. Two chicks, man, that snuck at the back of Chris Brown concert. They said they hopped the gate and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now she cut that. Three, two, one, action. Yo, you know what it is, man. It's your boy, you know, aka, you know, how you feel. Song's worth more than a value meal if you value real. Got another one for you today. We got these two chicks that ended up on Chris Brown's tour bus. We ain't gonna waste no more time. We gonna get right into it and see if they give that nigga the sloppy jalapo. You hear me? If they give that nigga the, the, the fucking Diamond Street headlock. You know what I'm saying? If, he, if, if, if they give that nigga the South Sea Seaport wet special. You hear me? We gonna find out right now. Become sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Let's get right into it. See they backstage right now. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Mm, 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 mm. Look. Look at this here. Look at that there. They make us breezy. Mm, mm, mm. Two things. Oh, no. I just want y'all to know that this is Chris Brown's tour bus in front of us, and I just got off the fucking bus. I swear to God. I've been I swear to God. Can you tell me what's with all this distant love? If I call, would you pick it up? On some nights like this, I just want to. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my cousin with me. Hey guys, I'm Tania. That's Tania. Listen, listen, for all the niggas out there, man, you know how I feel about them things, man. So I feel about them things, man. Motherfuckers is cute, man. Let's go. Mmm. Put that volume up for y'all. Hold on. Anyways, we're literally going to tell you guys everything. I don't want to sleep anything out. We might have to out. Like one little thing. Right? No, I don't want to no. sleep anything. I seriously don't want to sleep anything out. Okay. We're going to tell everything. We're just not going to use names because yeah. names get people in trouble. You think they really going to tell you everything that happened on that nigga's tour bus? Let's keep it a buck. And then we don't have any proof. So, I mean, with him. you could believe what we say. They let y'all know they ain't got no proof. You see what I'm saying? Yay, yeah, hey, listen. Believe at your own risk, nigga. So, let's start. It was his one hell of a night tour in Concord. My first concert of my life. She was and, mm -hmm. yes. And it was a group of us. And at the end. Niggas is coming up a little thirsty, so I had to drink some water. You hear me? Let's commence. And Lex said. Let's look for his tour bus. I saw where it goes. So, you know, me, obviously being her sidekick, I'm like, okay, yeah, come we on. We really like partners in crime. She you guys asked know? to do something, I'm down. Right. I asked her to do something, she's down. We so. always get in trouble together. Okay, so look, we hopped this fence. Remember the fence that we hopped? Yes. We thought we we thought we hit gold. We thought we hit the jackpot, right? We hopped this fence. It's a secret bathroom. It's, it's like a bathroom. nothing. We really hopped the fence. And shit. We sound like some fucking crazy. My nigga, what's the, what you think really popping off right here? They snuck backstage, they hopped the fence, all that shit. The game is to be so not told. The dame not of the game got her. So, so me and you both got ready separately. separately. And then oh, I came to pick her up. But before I came to pick her up, I was telling my grandma and I was telling my mom, like, watch, I'm going home with Chris Brown tonight. Like, <laughs> just hella joking. And her twin sisters have been on their tour bus before. So we were talking about, like, oh, that'd be so cool. Like, her twin sisters have been on Chris Brown tour bus. You think these niggas is going state to state, town to town, just to have some bitches, just to come drink and have fun? Them niggas want that sloppy jalapo. That head monster. Them niggas want the, the, the Gak Gak 5000. They want that mouth to go south. Right. 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 So, so then, after the concert, this, what, three years ago? 
2015. Yep. Four, about to be about three almost and a half, four. four in years the summer, it'll be four years ago. Yeah. After the concert, we were all standing at the bottom stair. We're all hella talking, and these two dudes. One dude was hella no, tall. No, this is when they left, and then it's just us. This no, is after we hopped the fence. Yeah, but but we saw them. They were they they were walking past us while we were still talking to everybody. Remember oh, okay. We took our picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. They walked past us, obviously looking for girls to bring backstage, but we didn't know that. We didn't know who they were. They're, and so I then mean, like, they were. You would not think that those were his friends. Like, I mean. Yeah. So. so then um we we tried to hop that fence, we start walking around looking for stuff, and then finally I'm like, you know what, it ain't gonna happen either. They hopped the fence, walked around trying to look for stuff. Fellas, man, get your money in your bag up, man. This this is the power of fame and celebrity, man. They got two things that probably rejected mad niggas. They hop in the fence to see they they breaking the law just to see this nigga. Fellas. Focus on yourself and stay on that back trail. These motherfuckers will give you everything you need and more. You hear me? The hook ain't mine. So we start walking to the car and those two dudes walk past us mm -hmm. and one was like, hey, how old are you? And I looked at him and I was like 19 and he was like, mm, barely legal. And then me and Nini kept walking. We're Nini like, was like, okay. we were just like, oh, what the fuck? Because like, he looked old. Like he <laughs> turns out he wasn't that old, but he uh -huh. looked he just, older. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, me and Nini kept walking and he was like, wait, come here. And Nini was like, Lex, he said, come here. Oh, this nigga was Chris Brown. See, the operation is beautiful. You, as you see, a lot of celebrity niggas, they got bitches that, uh, they got niggas that scout bitches. So they're going to go around the backstage, around the area, trying to find chicks. He told these two motherfuckers, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> come get ready to give that mouth massage. Let's keep going. Here. Like, I was like, Right, because I thought, because he was, like, looking at Lex. Yeah. It was just, like, usually, especially if you're ugly, and I have a boyfriend, so I wouldn't have stopped anyways, but it was just, like, something was, like, something was like, weird about seen it. Like, we've seen have a boyfriend, so I wouldn't have stopped anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her friend's face when she said, I have a boyfriend, so I wouldn't have stopped anyways. You think, you think she believe her? She know this chick more than she know herself. She's seen her do things that you would not believe while she had a man. Do you really believe? Do, do y'all really believe that? And again, I ain't judging them. I'm just going from the vibe and the conversation. Oh, I got a man, so I wouldn't do it anyways. Y'all motherfuckers would cheat on a nigga that gave you roses, flowers, and petals. You would not, you wouldn't even fuck a nigga that gave you flowers on the first day. You think I, I, I wouldn't believe that you would cheat on your man? Listen, it is what it is. It ain't what it should be, right? Let's go. But, but it was just like something like, like, something like, like we've seen them already. Yeah. Like, you know, like maybe we should see what's up. Like, right. like, 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 back and forth. Or, like, know. why are they asking our age? Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. it just kind of seemed like, okay, maybe we should see, like, what they wanted. So we went back and he was like, can I see some ID? And, and like, at this point, what? right, at this like, point, I'm like, I was like, what do you want to see my ID for? And he was like, if you, you want to get backstage, I got to see like. Oh, they scouting for the mouth masters, man. These motherfuckers is headhunters. They're trying to find the best head in the game. Listen, you see these two things? And, and you a celebrity scouter? Hey, you want to come backstage and I see that ID? Yeah, nigga, you got to be of age to do something strange, nigga. Hey, I, don't I, don't even know, know. I don't even know how my ID ended up in my hand she, in like 0. 0.2 seconds. But like, <laughs> and I, didn't even, I didn't even have an ID. Nothing. And like, so, at the time. Um, nothing on me. Right. And so he was like, well, where's her ID? And I was like... She I doesn't have it, it's in the car, age. but I promise you, she's 19. Her ass was 17 at the time. Shh, shh. What? She was 17? And she hopped on that nigga's bus. They went backstage and she's 17, bruh. For all the celebrity niggas out there. If the bitch don't got an ID, she can't fly in. Because if she does, that pussy going to be, that mouth going to get played like a violin. Nah, bro. Nah. He's like, you think we should let him backstage? And, his friend was and like, we're eh. still like, are these niggas really right. telling the truth? And his friend was like, eh, I don't and know. And they whip out the That nigga fucked up. He could have got Chris Brown hammed up with a 70-year-old bitch. You got to make sure they got the ID, man. Even if you're a regular dude talking to girls or cold approaching, trying to holler at girls, you got to make sure they got the ID, fellas. These niggas will get you hammed up and strung out. You hear me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
house. I'm at Nini's house. She's right gonna now. have to edit it and yeah, put it in there. I forgot, she still has the wristband. the wristband. But I have it. I had it somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'm not letting that know. thing go. And then, um, we're, we're like, like me and Nini are like, they, they give us the wristbands. Wristbands. We, we, we're putting we're on, on each other. We can't like right. act like no groupies. We can't be well, doing we too did much. At first. at first, for a quick second before we got backstage, right? We're like, we were like holding each other's hands, like, like, oh my god, god. Nini, like, like, is this yeah? Chris Brown, like, we were like tripping no. out. He turned. I'm not the only one that's uh focused on this girl's titties because um I am a nigga. So. We're getting all like, out of our oh, system now. That's <laughs> embarrassing. And so then he's like, and by the way, we're going to have to take your phones. Um, yeah. So we get back there. And so we walk down the hall, get all the way to the back, and it's a security standing in front of the door, and there's a chair, just like regular chair, with phones piled on top. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, can we take your, like, we need your phone. So yeah. we gave them our phones. We go backstage, and we walk in, and instantly you hear Chris Brown talking, but oh you God. cannot see him. And, like, me and Nene, Nene was just, she tiny, but she was yeah. squeezing my hand. I was like. Hard. But then, like, there's a candy bar. And there's hella pretty girls, and but he's just on the phone like nobody's and no paying one's attention like paying attention, and we're like they snuck backstage. That nigga not with paying these hoes no mind, cause he know they gonna go down for the showdown. Chill. So I just remember I just kept grabbing her hand and I'm I like know, freaking out. She was like, pinching me. But I'm like calm though. Like my face is calm, but, but I'm like, inside we're Lex. like dying. Lex. I know. Like, um, are you serious? Like, mind you, we've been in love with him forever. Like. Back so to then, um, when we when we walk backstage, I tell the dude who got us backstage, like, can I ask you a favor? And he's yeah. like, what? And I'm like, you gotta let us take a picture with you. Like, no like one's nobody gonna is us. gonna believe like, this shit. Have There's to. no way anybody's gonna believe it. And he was hella cool. Yeah, he was hella cool. So then he's like, yeah, he's like, don't worry about it. You just gotta wait until more people leave. So time goes by. He gives us something to drink. There are people back there that Nini ends up knowing. Yeah. Um, and so we're just like with. talking hella people. Yeah. We made friends there too. A lot yeah, of the was cool, majority but... of the girls were hella nice, and we just talk to them like it was nothing then we like chris brown gets up to leave i'm just cutting it short because yeah it, we were like, there the concert ended at and, 11 oh yeah we was we drinking we leave. took a couple shots with him yeah we the did the tall friend the one that was cool that got his yeah. backstage that we're not gonna say names but yeah, yeah. <laughs> like i was the driver so i kept handing because i thought we were gonna leave soon so i kept handing like pouring some of my drink into nini's like you drink it you, you just drink, drink it. it and that's and mind you we saw where the alcohol was coming it's not yeah. like it's these hoes was drinking. One was 19, the other is 17. And they out here getting lits and blissed. You gotta be checking these IDs, fellas. These motherfuckers will get you hanged up and strung out. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I'm just, can y'all yeah. tell? Like five, almost what? Almost four years later, and we're still excited still, to tell the story. Like, like this was a. I feel like we haven't even talked life. about it in forever. Like we just like I don't know. I know. It was like a dream. Right. It was like the best night. But oh it gets it gets better than this. Okay. Okay. So then, like time's going by, and Chris Brown gets up to leave, and I tell the dude to that the got us backstage. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Like you said, we were gonna get to take a picture with him we before like, we fuck. leave. Before he left, he was like, he's not going nowhere. He's just going to do his meet and greets. He'll be back. Hold on, and mind you, we <coughs> almost bought the tickets. We were a day late, and they were sold out. The we're so, tickets, and it was like 250 and we're so happy we did not pay for those because we would have never saw them before the concert like right when it ended it told everybody to go to a certain spot we wouldn't have got to get backstage we would have been like everybody yeah, else the meeting paid all that took a picture, picture and that's it right. so like it worked out that we didn't get the meet and greet tickets jesus was on our side jesus it just worked out for the better they talking about jesus jc and they trying to hop backstage to give a nigga mouth action to 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 meet a celebrity and they hopped they they broke the law and they they trespassed to somebody's property, but yo shout out to y'all man, whoever y'all are if you wanna holler at me man hit me up man we can we can set something up we can both you know have some shindigs together you hear me let's go. Like and start walking out the door. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, you're going to get to take a picture with him. And he was like, well, where are y'all going? And I was like, um, no, everybody's leaving. Like, I thought we were going. He's like, well, we took the purpose. And maybe they're like, we took the purpose. Oh, us too? Like, us right here? Oh, both for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, we want both for y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So that's where yeah. Nobody's ever gonna fucking believe this. That's where that happened. I forgot the part. So mm -hmm. right when we got backstage, we were back there for like five minutes, and he was like, "Oh, we gotta call our moms. Like, we gotta let our call moms, moms walk into the tour bus." No, we came out. 
They called their moms, letting them know they was about to go on a stranger's tour bus. Let's see what their moms say. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, um, we were backstage for like five, ten minutes, maybe, and Nene's like, wait, Lex, we gotta call our moms, we gotta let like, them know where we know are. Yeah. Long, right. And so, um, we go out, I get on the phone, and I call my mom. So she wasn't even thinking about calling the mom to let them know that they're about to go to a nigga's tall bus, and one of them is underage. The other one had sense, the younger one had sense to say, hey, let's call our moms, because, to let them know where we at. I want to do a poll after this. Who, one of these, which which one you think is the freakiest? Or you think they both freaky? Let me know in the comments below. When I'm like, mom, you're going to get to your back. My mom knows how much I love this program. My mom took me to my first program. Like, she told me all the friends know. We almost need to eat her all the time. She knows how much I love this program. And Fresno is like three hours away from where we live. And so, um, we go out and I'm like, mom, guess where I'm at? And she's like, oh, no. Like, she knows how much I love this program. And Fresno is like three hours away from where we live. And so, um, I'm like, mom, guess where I'm at? And she's like, put him on the phone what like my mom was like no fucking way and it i was so serious and, and i like, called my sister first just because i know she could relay the message and i'm like td think about this fellas they told their mothers i'm about to go to chris brown's tour bus and the mom said cool have fun take pictures put them on the phone with me if and they called so they only called women and told them what it was happening if they would have called their father that if they had a found of they have fathers but if they have fathers and they called their fathers what kind of response do you think they would the the father would have given them he would have probably said get your fucking ass home right now try to get a picture with this nigga if you can't you're not going on no niggas tour bus because we know the game. Niggas know what we want. So for her parents, for her mothers, their mothers to say it's okay for them to go on that tour bus, that's very irresponsible for them. But as a nigga, you can come on a bus, but you got parents telling you to go on a niggas bus. You think a father, would, a reasonable father would have let you do that? Absolutely not. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, we are we're backstage. backstage. She's like, she's like, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Right. Say Bible. I'm like, Bible? Shut up. Because she knows once I say that. She started freaking out. Yeah. Told, told my mom. mom. I was like, oh my, oh my God. God. Are you hearing me? She's, she's like, 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 what happened? Be safe. Be safe. Like, my mom was so excited for us. Like, My mom wanted crazy. to talk to his ass. She was right. like, put him on the phone. <laughs> so we get off the phone. We go back in. And then. I'll skip back to like the tour bus part. Walking to the tour yeah. bus, whatever. So we're walking to the tour bus. I tried to get like a little video in, so I recorded that part. Nene was on the phone telling too. somebody else that she was there. And um, then when we get to the bus, he took our phones again. What happened next? We were sitting on the bus and the dude's like, oh, are y'all hungry? Like, it's gonna be a minute, so do you wanna go to the back? It was the last concert of the, of tour, the tour, so yeah. they didn't really have shit to do. And so they were just chilling and he was like, oh, there's, it was like a taco truck or it wasn't it was like a, It was a food truck that followed them that had like burgers, fries, like literally like yeah. everything. We went with them to get food, but I just got a drink. I don't remember. If I got, got a drink food. too. Yeah. I didn't get food. So we just got drinks and then we went back to the bus. They got drinks. Look at her face to the right. Look at the one on the right. The one that looking like she's looking down. Look at her. If y'all don't see what I'm talking about, look at that. You see her? She was 17 years old. And they gave them something and, and they was drinking. These bitches 19. They're not even allowed to drink. You just incriminating these niggas that allowed you to go on their bus. This shit is wild, boy. And, and we, 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 we sat down and like it's a shorter side that we sat on and then it's and then a he, longer side. Yeah, across from us. And so we sat down she and like you up. heard yeah. him talk. Oh. And oh Nene grabbed my thigh hella God. fast and she was like, Mm. I just had to Lex, breathe Lex, because Lex, you don't Lex, understand. Lex, like, Lex, and we had to be calm. We could not act like no groupies or nothing. So, like, you know, I just had to pinch her. Like, I had to get something out. <laughs> and I thought, like, listen, he wanted to get something out too. You hear me? About, like, when I meet Chris, Chris Brown, Brown, what, what am I going to say? What am like, I going to do? And, and we're in that moment. Bitch, we're like, it just I didn't, didn't seem real. Like, we were kind of like, what? I was a chicken. Yeah. I was supposed to profess my we love, just chilling. have his next baby. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was good, but I was freaking See, out. I, like, we're, neither one of us are shy, but, like, me in that moment, like, I'm going to make initiative. comments. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to talk back. Yeah. I'm not shy, but and I are, was fucking honestly, starstruck. Honestly, they're chain smokers, like. I'm not shy. Listen, man. And now y'all putting a nigga's business out there, man. Y'all already hopped backstage. 
violated the law violated that nigga possibly getting hammed up for y'all being underage and drinking and I blame the nigga that let y'all drink knowing that y'all niggas was underage this is a discrepancy against nature and the game will always remember this moment let's go cigarette after cigarette just like that. flicking it all over ash. the counter his ash like all over the counter and if you guys know me then you know i hate cigarettes with a fucking passion i didn't smell cigarettes that whole night i didn't nope. smell them at all what are you saying it's not it's not what she wants it's what the nigga she like want a girl would drop everything she hate but if the nigga she like is doing it she gonna like it so when a girl tells when you when you asking these girls oh what do you like in a man do you like this do you like that they don't know they like whatever the nigga that's acting right and the nigga that they fucking with like always remember that her big was a you said her manager was stacking shit in the fridge that and she had a big booty that nigga was tapping that as he should the game got her the dame not a him man and not to mention she had a fat ass and then I was oh, trying to I, hand it I, you handed it, but I said like, oh here. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. So like it was his turn and she was like, I was like, here, it's your turn. He was like, mm, I don't drink. And she was like, come on, like you can't yeah, or something. Like you you got to. You I'm can't like, have come us on all now. Drink. Like we all take shot. And then he was like, uh uh. <laughs> Come on now, we all taking a shot. And you're 17 and you're 19. Talking about let's drink, let's take a shot. Treat these bitches nice, man. Because if you don't, she she could come out at any time and say, I was on Chris Brown's tall bus and he he made us drink and we were underage. This looked like a future case coming. I hope it don't happen though. Oh, I only drink if I know something. Or said something like, oh, yeah. He said something he inappropriate. Said, yeah. He was like, something I only like, drink if I know no heads coming heads out. Heads coming out. Woo! Woo! Shout out to my nigga, Chris Breezy. The nigga said, you want to keep asking me to drink? I'm a drink if you drink something else. We going to goggle if you swallow. Shout out, Chris Breezy. That nigga, I knew it. These motherfuckers look like mouth monsters. What else you go? What else you want from them? Of course, you want everything else. But as a nigga like Chris Brown dancing on stage for three hours straight, you just want to relax. You don't want to move your hips and try to fuck a chick. You trying to get some mouth action, man? Shout out to that nigga, Chris Brazy. Let's say, let's say, you will never know. They will never tell you everything that happened on that bus, my nigga. They will never tell you everything that happened on that bus. Why would they? Why would they? So, so, so they could be hoes? They could have sucked this nigga's balls and spit it at the end of the bed. And you never know. They capping. They capping. Oh, for real? Right. Oh, yeah. Y'all go and get it or whatever. Right. So then, it was us two and the dude that got the vaccine. Can we take my what? We were like shuttle bus? Thing down. Down. Yeah. They drove us down to my car and we got we in my car, car, drove my car backstage. And then uh, Mimi got what she had and we brought it onto the bus. Yeah. And he was hugging it. Chris Brown, remember? He was like. <laughs> Like, he was shit. not trying to pass it. But we didn't even care. Like, nope. oh, well. Oh, yeah. So before we got back on the bus, um, so the dude that brought us backstage, I'm going to have to mute that because I might have heard his name. Yeah. But the dude that brought us backstage, we were walking back to the bus. 
I'm telling you, my nigga, they leaving something out of this story, man. They not gonna tell you everything that happened. He's like, hey, Lex, like, come here. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, uh, see, do you want to know if your cousin is trying to, like, give him, give him, like, he wasn't trying to fuck something. or nothing, but, like, give him head. Oh. Oh, God. I can only imagine. Nigga, Chris Brown's right on the money. I want that mouth action, man. Wrap that head up in a bun and go crazy on that motherfucker. And I was like, ooh, like, no. You oh, yeah, I was like, like, I don't think so, but I can ask her. And then so I came up and I was like, Nene. And Nene has a boyfriend. And so I already knew, like, the answer was. Yeah, right. Oh, I had a boyfriend. That's why I ain't do it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They leaving something out, my nigga. And if they not, you two can... Feel free to holler at me, you know, slide in the DMs and or whatever you call this fucking YouTube shit. Slide into that shit. Hit, hit, hit me in the comments and see if you leave leaving something out of the story or not. I, just based on my observation, you hear me. She's gonna gonna be know, but she still is going to like relay the message right. or whatever. And so I went up to her and I was like, he so-and-so. She was kind of freaking out though. She was like, Nene, like, look, came up to me. And said yada yada yada, and I'm like, dun 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 like fucking Tom and Jerry shit, man. Shit. So he didn't he didn't say like if he said he said like go in the room or like something like not saying like what but like but he was already making nasty or something like that. Like when I said that, he said something like, "Oh, I only drink if I know I'm finna get heads coming out." Oh, oh god. Oh, every time she say that, oh, God. I can only imagine this bitch throwing it down with that wet mouth. Hey, man, comment below. Out of these two, who you think give the better head, man? I don't know. The one to the right. She look like she go dummy on the head. The one to the left. She might like she'll take her time more and just spin on uh, 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 Let's keep going. Okay, that's obviously what he wanted. Like, yeah. no. but, um, yeah. So, like, I'm freaking out telling her, and she's like, Lex, like, no. First no. of all, I'm with Mac. Second and of all, like, I would never do that, blah, blah, blah. And like, 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 like nobody's expecting you to do I just that. didn't want him to tell Chris Brown no. Like, that's my thing. Oh, this nigga wanted some mouth action, and she was like, no, I got a boyfriend. Do y'all believe she never went out and cheated on that nigga before? Or went behind his back? If, she's, if there wasn't a jump of fence to see a nigga, go on his tour bus for how, how, however long they was on that tour bus for. You think none of them gave that yak yak 5,000? Let's continue. Like I told him, I said, can you just not say nothing? Like, just don't tell him. I said, no, because I just don't want him to kick us off. Like, right. you know, just... Yeah. Right, just like leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> like, we were the only two girls on the tour bus, and then like... Kind of it was the only two girls on the tour bus... I hear that Chris Brown, when he's on tour, that he leaves the club with like 20, 30 bitches. So imagine a concert with all these women lined up. You was the only ones on the bus. How did that happen? Cap. Kind of towards the end, they brought two girls. No, no, we got that gone. The girls were on. They were? Yes. Dang, I remember it. And before we smoked while they were rolling, that's when he told them to leave. Oh, like, okay. they were on for a short minute. It was two, like, white girls. Were, they were not cute. Wasted. I guess they saw them, like, walking around. Friends brought them on. Oh, there were some ragglers that they put on the bus. I don't believe there was the only... You were the last two on the bus. I don't believe that. Whatever. Like, a little, so we sit down. A, a nigga like Chris Brown has famous and rich is and how much bitches want this nigga. Y'all was the only ones left on that bus? All right. They're like on the long side, but like at the end. And like a little time go by. I forgot who was. I don't know if I rolled or did I let the friend roll. I can't even remember. I think you rolled. I think I rolled. And I was rolling or whatever. And like a little bit of time, like not even like 10 minutes go by or something and chris brown's like all right nice to meet you guys to the friend or to those girls right, and, and make them leave the and we're like oh we're good mm -hmm. like he's not telling us to leave right imagine both of them at the same time going ham on that knob it's a beautiful thing like we've never heard before like, that was never new, released right season. and he was just like like vibing to it like, like oh my god i was just like admiring him like because his <laughs> eyes were closed and he was right in front of us so i was just like and he's hella tall, like, 
for like, her. Like, you knew he's tall, but, like, just, he just seems so tall to me. Like, I'm just like, damn. Like, my hair stuck to was. Oh, it was? Yeah. He was shorter <laughs> than I thought. He was taller than I thought. But he's taller than you. And in the picture, he looked hella taller than you. What do you mean he was shorter than you thought? You thought he was 6'8"? But whatever, because I'm hella short. I'm hella short. So then, like, we're, we're just chopping it up, like, talking to them. There was, like, this one point where Chris Brown got on his phone, and I guess somebody was talking about his daughter. And, um, oh, yes. And she was he only, was, like, two. She was hella little. And the she next was day little. was the 106 in Park <clears throat> basketball game. Yeah, so and that's a different one. That's a different one. Oh, okay, so okay, we're gonna okay, tell okay, that okay, one because okay. remember he was talking about fighting. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. first he was on his phone, and I guess some girl was talking shit about his daughter, and so he was like flashing Jeez, back, and like, he was like, "How you spell bottom feeder? Is it F E E or F E A?" Yeah. And I was like, "F E E." He was like, "Thank you," and I was like, Ooh. "Once again, listeners, belief is advised. Your discretion to believe this shit they saying, like they said, they only don't got no proof." But you believe if you ain't got no proof, you want me to believe you came on that nigga's tour bus after you did all that shit to go meet him and y'all ain't drop down on your knees and give that wiggle head. Let's keep this shit going. I just, I just yeah. Yeah. Like, what? And she does this to everybody, so it's so funny. Yeah, I'm the grammar police. Yeah. Y'all should know that Chris Brown is the tallest person here. Yeah. 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 Two, two, and two. Right. You should know all the differences. Come yes. on now, you grown. Especially if you graduated. Like, get it together. So then, after that one, he was talking about... So, this is years later, so we could talk about it now. I don't think it'll, like, bring any Matter. drama or nothing like that. Right. Not. But he was hella close with Tyga. Yes. And Tyga had... I problems with the game. First of all, no, and Tyga. 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 And he was time. like, if I was Tyga, I'd put a baby in her. Like, that's a, that's a check right there. You know right. what I mean? Right. He was just... Right. Check right there. Chris yes. Brown's on the money, man. He wasn't lying. He should have put a kid in that motherfucker. You had a baby. You had babies with these bitches that couldn't do nothing for you. And you gave them clout. And you had a bitch that could give you more clout and got more money than you. Nigga. Do the reverse shit they, they be doing on us, bro. But you like who you like. You do what you like. And it is what it is. And ain't what it should be. Let's keep going. Comment below, which one of them got the most moisture content in their mouth? Comment below. Yes, and after that, it was just, it was chill. Right, like, like before meeting him, well, like, I would always be like, well, like, what's oh, it what gonna be I, like yeah. when I meet Chris Brown? Like, is Chris Brown an asshole? Is Chris Brown, like, sweet? He Everybody was, was he's talking. He was friendly. He was, it wasn't yeah. like we weren't there, like, we were ghosts or nothing like that. Right. He was hella cool. It was, and then, like, at that point, it's like, wow, like, he's not, he's really just, a, celebrities like a, are really just normal, normal people. people. Yeah. But, um, I mean, oh. Did die? No. What the fuck? That ring light. We are having some technical difficulties. That ring light went off. Okay, we're back. We're back. So towards the end, the bus driver came back. The tour bus driver, he came back and he was like, we're going to go. Like, are they coming with us? Oh, my before you said that, uh, Chris Brown started sweeping, cleaning Oh, up. yeah, he went to the back, changed he started his shirt. Everything. Started he started everything. cleaning up himself. Like, right. he don't got He people. changed his shirt I mean, I'm sure he has. <laughs> no. The delusion is real, fellas. Get your money up, man. You can, you can, you can, you can explore this world the same way. These, listen, man. Imagine these two in between your legs. I'm sure he has people that help him clean it, but it's like cool. Like he don't just like He's not have just someone messy, do right. everything, and like he started sweeping himself, cleaning stuff up. Cause like, he made that big old mess in the beginning. Exactly. He, he actually, when he was done smoking, he did it right away. It wasn't like towards the end. We skipped that whole part because he had changed his shirt. He was already sitting down talking to his talking to everybody. Right, right, right. And then we asked if we could get off. Okay, so yeah, he's he's not dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. <laughs> but um, so then. He, um, the, the bus driver was like, oh, like, are they coming with us? And my dumb ass was like, I have work tomorrow. Like, that's the first thing that popped in my head. And when I told I my mom later, I when I, I told my mom care. later, she was like, what the fuck? You hear what she said? <laughs> <laughs> the one with the boyfriend just said she didn't care. 
I didn't, I, I didn't care. I would have stayed on the bus with this nigga. The one that he asked ahead from. And she got a man. Focus on yourself, nigga. They had to go to the game the next day. The right. celebrity. We wouldn't wanted have had to play back game. home. They wouldn't have. And so, um, we were like, yeah, they would have took you back because they wanted that mouth. No, like, we're going to go. So, we're saying bye to everybody. And then, like, I walk up to Chris Brown and I'm like, can I ask you a question? And he's like, yeah, what's up? And I'm standing behind him. Right. Ask him, ask him. And so, I was like, can we take a picture with you? And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't take pictures on the bus. And then, like, at the same time, I was saying, well, can you get off the bus? He was like, but I'll get off the bus because y'all were hella cool. cool yeah. Right. We got off the bus and we, we took a picture so with him. Jealous. I don't know why we didn't think to take like our own individual pictures with him. But we just took a... Right. We, we just took a picture with, with him in the middle. And we weren't trying to be like, tools. okay, now your turn. Now you're... Right. You know, sure. we just was like... If I would have thought about it, if my fucking and nerves was, weren't through the and ceiling. And I was tipsy, so I right. just was like... If my nerves weren't through the ceiling, I would have been like, I need my own picture with you. But And then so that's why that's why the back looks kind of funky. The person taking the pictures back is against the tour bus, and mm -hmm. we're right yeah, there. Yeah, we couldn't. Stepped out the tour bus. I asked him, can I take a selfie with him? And he was like, no, I'm sorry. He he's was like, like they're going to think we fucking. Or, yeah, he said something. But he said he was like, I'm not. He was like, no, I'm sorry. He he's was like, like they're going to think we fucking. Or, yeah. He's... That's a fact. You don't want to give that mouth. Get the fuck out. We're going to take this picture in, in the front of the bus, because ain't nobody going to think we fucking. I mean, nigga, no trace, no face, no case, nigga. Shout out to Chris Brown for being smart. Like, I'm not able to. Yeah, yeah. 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 like, I'm not allowed to. Like, 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 people will take, take selfies and can make it more than what it is. Like, oh, you know, because a selfie, I guess, seems more intimate, whatever. So, whatever. Right. I tried. And so we took our picture with him, and then I gave the tall dude, or the tall dude asked for my number. I gave him my number, and Chris Brown was like, oh, so-and-so got your number, so next time we're in the Bay, like, we could link or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. So that's the end of our story with... And did Chris Brown ever hit you back up? Probably not, because he got other bitches. And these chicks is from the Bay Area, too? Oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. Chris Brown and getting on his tour bus. And you all took his video in one take, no practicing, no nothing. nothing. So this was just what happened. Was raw. I would say uncut, but raw we, I got to cut footage. it. Because if I don't cut it, this just going to be like 45 minutes. Too long. But um, yeah, we did this all in one take. Are you proud of us? They did it in one take and they cut mass shit out. See my face right here? See her titties right there? This, this is my first YouTube video ever. ever. I've never, never been here. She did it with me. I thought I was going to go awkward. I was going to go awkward. I was going to go awkward. I was like, I was going to go awkward. It's not weird when you do it with someone. I feel myself. I feel myself. I feel myself. I feel myself. Me and Annie, you're going to notice we love to talk over each other. We both love to talk. And so I was like, eh, maybe I should do it by myself. And I was like, no, why would I do it by myself? And we can all talk to each other. Thank you guys for listening. Um, that's the story about how we ended up on Christmas. And we're going to do it. Listen. Um, Listen. Do y'all niggas believe this story? Do y'all believe it went like how she went? Do y'all believe these niggas ain't give that nigga the Godcock 5,000? Please like, comment, subscribe, hit hit the comment below, please, and let me know what y'all think. If this is a true story or if it's not, if they gave the mouth or they didn't. My whole thing is if they asked her for the mouth, the one to the left, and she said no, why didn't they ask the one on the right for head? Because she's attractive. To me, she looked better than the one on the left. Why didn't he ask her for head? You see why this story don't make no sense? But that's another situation for another day. It's your boy, know how you feel. Song's worth more than the value bill if you value real. Be like, short to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.